how do they do things? Well, in lots of different ways. Sometimes they help with us connecting with people. So we bump into someone or seemingly are cross paths cross with people. And sometimes angels can communicate and help in that process. Sometimes angels do very sort of things. I mean, I've assigned my angel to go and get me a parking space when I needed a parking space. So I assumed that the angel went and stood in the place and people just didn't see it or avoided it for some reason. So as when I get into the car park, there's a space, you know, then I'll thank my angels for what they've done. So I'm grateful and thankful for them. Now it says we will judge angels. Now people got this view that judging angels is like, oh, that's the bad angels and we're going to assign them to a destruction or something. Where well, actually judgment is a verdict. So well done, thank you, is a judgment. So when angels do things for us, thank them. You know, make that judgment on well done, you did a great job, thank you. Really appreciate it. Then you build a relationship, which isn't, they're not their slaves. They're there to, in relationship, work with us and cooperate with us in outworking God's purposes. Um, there I found an, a heavenly angel that was assigned to my mountain and the throne that I didn't know that I had. Well, I sort of knew that I had spiritually, you know, we're all seated in Christ with heavenly places, but I never really actually realized it was a, a place that I could engage in. And when I engaged and there's a throne, I sat on the throne and started learning about mountains and thrones and ruling and declaring and decreeing from my position in heaven where I was seated um, and didn't really think any more about it. I'm not really that much for what things look like. So a throne is somewhere I sit and rule. It's not, I don't really bother whether it's wood or gold or whatever it is. It's as long as I can sit on it and rule, that's all I care about. Um, and then I started taking people to see their thrones. And one day I was sort of, leading an activation and saying hey oh, close your eyes and here's your you know picture your mountain and your throne and go and visit it and go and be seated and jesus will come and enthrone you and he'll give you a crown and a scepter and i was there looking and i looked at my own throne and there was this big angel standing behind it so i said well who are you and he said well i'm the angel you're a heavenly angel that's been there to protect your position and i've been here and I, and it's literally i never noticed because i never looked so i said well what do you do he said well what do you want me to do i'm here to help you so then i started asking questions about what i was to do from my position being seated in heavenly places now i could have done that a year earlier or more if i'd sort of thought about it but i never really thought about it i just was getting on with doing stuff but then when I saw it, I realized that that angel had been involved my whole life in helping me come to a position where eventually I would be seated where I am effectively in the spirit and begin to engage it. And so I did, you know, so literally then I started to engage that angel and that angel helped me understand the processes of change and transformation and growth and maturity in cycles of engaging with god receiving a revelation of the nature of god and that changing you and then taking you through the cycle of where the chancellor's house is aligned for the outworking of our maturity and growth you know and i didn't realize that but then i sort of talked to the angel and realized the angel had been involved quite a number of times in my life particularly when i was younger and the angel had been involved in releasing revelation i came across books that challenged my life and, and really sort of turbocharged things and moved things on and accelerated things a lot that angel had been responsible for me coming across a book and then i would read the book and then i would receive something about the nature of god which would be life-changing and then that would take me on a cycle of change and i realized the angel was there to help me with cycles in change until I matured that I could engage those cycles myself, which I learned to do. Um, so ultimately the angels are involved in helping us mature. And when we get to a position of maturity, we sort of need them less. 
But there are a number of obviously heavenly angel beings that I've engaged with over the years that have been very helpful. Wisdom, prudence, you know, they've helped me uh, a lot in discovering truth and revelation and opening opportunities, showing me particular places I could engage in heaven, showing me some of how heaven works, some of the government of heaven, how the courts work, how the chancellor's court and the court of kings, court of scribes, how these courts function. You know, wisdom took me to several courts and showed me how they worked and then encouraged me to operate using those courts. Now, that we're, we're talking courts, more assemblies and rather than legal courts. But I received revelation and learned how to function, usually in those early days through God assigning an angel to show me. In latter times, there have been less of angelic involvement because i've spent more and more time in the presence of the father that's been heart to heart revelation of the father that i know his heart rather than you know needing someone to go and show me something the father just reveals it and it's more infused knowledge that comes from a relationship with the father but in my journey the angels have been very helpful if you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.